Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hello guys, Son of Beast here and me phone here. This is the second game of the NHL of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Now we're ready to send you on to the other side as we got the Vancouver Canucks and they are facing against the Los Angeles Kings. This part of the matchup is now going to be a tough one here. This will be a win or go home for the Los Angeles Kings. If they don't win, then the Canucks will move on to the second round. This is it. If they do win, then they'll be heading back to Vancouver one last time on the trip before the next team moves on to take on against the winning team the other way in between the Oilers or the Golden Knights. Now this is a part of the matchup in between. We really appreciate to those guys who really done their best. Two seasons ago for the postseason happened to be with the first matchup. Los Angeles Kings beat against the Edmonton Oilers but now, it's their chance if they can beat another Canadian team or get down to the endo. That was part of last season that they took over. But, two seasons ago was a loss against the Los Angeles as Los Angeles plays against the Edmonton Oilers. The Oilers beat the Los Angeles Kings and this was their time to move in to the next round. Now it's what they do. Let's find out if they win or not. And the next commentary for the last part of game number six, I have it here, is Tyler Beast. He's also along with Boomer. And finally we have, of course you know it, it's always known that the come down is in. As Test Tube is in the center ice, and a throw commentary of the crew is Ballpoint Pen. We'll see you all later for the post game show after this game. Let's roll! It's game time. We're ready at Los Angeles as the Canucks battle against the Kings. This will be a win or go home for the Kings if they lose or win. And here I, we are, folks. We start the game now as we are underway in Crypto.com Arena. That's for me and my partner, with along with Paul Point Penn and Boomer. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Coverage of the Stanley Cup Playoffs of NHL. The first stop will put in here for Talbot as he will make his first save. Now to start on the pressure, ready to take things on. 19.35 left to go in the first period. As right now, he is screwed down. He will have it over, not trying to find an open look. The man rushing it open on the offense is trying to give over to Kopitar. And now Byfield will have it over. And the offense now finds Turkotic. Turkotic shot blocked. Hughes saw him there with the puck, and now he gives it over to Hughes. Who's his right toward down to the right wing? On the shot, this one's been blocked out. Drew Doughty with the buck gives back to Byfield. Byfield on his way down, trying to look at some more room. And a shot has been blocked up as Ronick gift again to Hughes. Now here's Hollander. Battling for the loose puck. Hughes takes it over, take the big spill. Their offside's been called on Los Angeles Kings. Stop the clock at 18.40 to go. On a start range in Los Angeles, no score in a game between the two. And now the win will put in for Philip Denault. Fiala lost the puck, and now it's Friedman over again to Mikhaev. Mikhaev tried to get back over into the offensive side, and now he's trying to give it over. Look, and here's Fiala. Cole's got that puck in right over towards the right wing. Tries to look inbound, trying to give over with the pass. Mikhaev over to Miller, big save by Talbot. You know, that's what AZ is. Taking over with a better time angle is not turning to be a little bit of um, quite authentic way. It would really make this one a hard play. That is standable. They're making sure that this is a lot of a challenging to get over in between. But don't take offense if you have it here. Freeman shot stopped here by Talbot. Getting down closer to the mark as they're trying to look for a score in between of those two. Demko and Talbot are your starting goaltenders for the Kings and the Canucks. That's going to win put up here as Freeman will have it. In toward Miller, find Miller! Put a rebound here! Goal pressure is on his own. Mikhaya behind the net. Denal lost that puck. Denal trying to battle it out. 
kick the puck. Taking over some time as Moubrer battling along for the puck at a range. Now Miller's got one. In toward the middle, this was poked out by Colbert. Los Angeles back in the offensive zone, now trying to fix it in. It's a save by Demko, gives off to Cole. It's really what Demko's really doing it. The last part of the game was an unstandable play. Maybe he missed a lot harder, and that challenging is not going to keep things a lot of strong pace. Maybe he missed a lot of a bit challenging right in between the two. This is because they are called experts. They're really making that one a hard one to get in. You're not going to let it slip it right away. you got to make sure they play it right. All that offense is going to keep out of a, of a quick sight. They're letting the Lindholm and her team do the right thing. They're trying to let that one go right with the between the zone, and they can't let that anybody get over us. Now he's Garland with the puck, and now he's over again back to Pogzinskin. Paco Skin again to Lindholm. He's been bumped out in the wall, and now Los Angeles will have the puck. It's Gavrikov. Toward away now finds Dubois. Dubois almost lost the puck. Here's the Furrier shot. It's blocked up by Denko. Freeman giving it over to get the Sutter. Fans starting to gear for the Canucks team. And a shot close saved by Tom. Past the 60 minute mark in that period. So no score in game. Now they're ready to do some other offensive in between. No score in the game yet. In, in Los Angeles. The Kings wins the face off. Spence trying to give over to Byfield and now he finds Dukai. Dukai trying to roll it in there and he flies the puck out of here. Moves again to Hughes, he now again to Garone. Finds Hogland there. Toward right toward the middle, fires that one out of here. That one stayed out. And here's Eglin. Eglin fires a shot. And Aroni picks it back again to Hollander. Hollander finds Hughes with the puck. And their team goes offside. Out of control. No, man, that is just a way of the fast chain, but they couldn't let that stop. Now for the win, here's Aroni now back again to Hollander. Hollander gets a person. Shot, big save by Talbot. That's what Talbot is really doing. Without Copley, that must have been a game that a lot of good respect of Allison. This is not what it turns in if they add it. Elias Patterson has a sniping zone ability that he's taking all of his abusive on his angle. He's better at it in a profanity of this taking over from a better line of a, a defender and a fender. And as Alexei Kopitar is really finding another way for his superstar factor, I'll try to find out if there's another way that can definitely take over it from the X Factor, if he has another one to level up. I'll try to find out in between Elias Patterson and Zanze Kopitar. Back to you. As the save puts in here by Talbe with under 14.30 to go. Still a no score in the game. And the way we'll put in for a Rue. Rue again to buy and fighting Byfield. On a shot. Put a rebound. That is saved here by Demko. Really just making this one a lot harder challenging, and now he's over now the Bozer. Bozer now right towards the right wing. Takes a look, and the shot goes wide. That's going to be a little bit too going off the ankle. And you're not going to let that one score back in it if they have another chance in there. He takes a smack down as the shot was off, and now it's back to Zeller off to Bozer. They really are making this one a lot challenging. They're never going to let this one try to like slow it down at the moment of timing. It's never going to be easy when they try to get there. As the stop puts in made here by Top and he finds again a more. More. Fires! Saved off here by Dempil. Julesen gets again to Bozer. Bozer now finds in Mikheyev. Mikheyev trying to pull him down with the shot. It's saved off again. Bowling for the loose puck in the chain. Trying to give off to Gavrikov. And Bozer's got that puck. He's around in there, trying to find Julesen. Put it back there, now finds out of a shot. Big stop on the chain here by Talbot. Gavrikov gives back to Moore. Moore back to Fiala. Fiala towards the right wing, in the left. Lost the puck as it's poked out, as Julesen has it. Now finding Patterson with the puck. Trying to look for some open space, he guides again to Sutter. 
Sutter shots blocked. Ooh, how's that puck? 12 15 left to remain in the first period. Looks towards his angle. Big stop on a Demko save. Really making this one easy now. That feels really like all in pressure now. Mike would Mike go in. And a save puts in by Cobbett. And he scores. First goal in game six goes to Friedman. That's his first goal in the playoffs against the Kings. Mark Friedman just really made this one. That took up put up a groove. But this had to give him back. But that got him out of the way. That's what Mark Freeman was getting in there. That's a good chance to have that rebound picked up. And now the wave will put in for Freeman. He will have that puck in. Fire the puck out of here. And around the net. Drew Dowdy give it over to get Lafira. And Dowdy will have it over. Now finding Mubrayer. Mubrayer trying to give it over. The puck is broken up as Hoglander has it back. Off of this way, fires around the net. Drew Dowdy's got that puck. Now has it over to Anderson Dolan. Anderson Dolan trying to get it over to there. And a shot, big save by Demko. Really easy one there. They're making this one a little harder to challenge. That difficulty doesn't really mention. If they're getting this over and then down quickly, you got to make sure they have it in there at the right timing. And it's Drew Dowdy. With a two-on-one pass break. Shot, but saved by Demko. He will off the whistle here with only 10.45 left to go in the first period. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Vancouver starts off 1-0 over Los Angeles. Now the win will put it in as Coos will have the puck back to Corona. He gives it over again to Garland. Garland trying to make his way down right towards the right wing. Takes a bump on it across the wall. Moore's got that puck. Over in. Shot! That one's off of the stench of skate. Skate and it's back over again. Broken up the play by Poltulski. Bockelson with the puck. Now finding Lindholm. Shoots it. And this one has been blumped out. Drew Downey gets back to Boubrer. Physical bump of Karaki. Back to Poltulski. Shot saved here by Talbot. Moover trying to get the puck out of here, and now finding Coos again to Veronic's shot. On a big rebound, this one is over and out. Fiala has that puck, another hit put in for Los Angeles. More shot, big save on the pad by Demko. Fighting for the puck rebound. And now here's Mikhail back to Miller. Vancouver back in the offense now, finding Mikhail. Shot and wrist to the mound. This one's knocked out of here. It's another save by Talbot. Too much finds it away. Esther Cotty has it over. A few away now finding him forward to Byfield. Making this one a little bit challenging. It's not going to let that go in. Got to have that mark out there. Way shot off the mark and it's Demko with the stop. They really are expecting that one. Demko really needs to get this one a lot of great help. This is the better strategy. He's really taking it all. Now with the win, here's Freeman. Gives it over again to Bozer. He's trying to find a look at over in the offense. Trying to make a shot, big step here by Thomas. And Bozer now finding Cole. He goes to Freeman's shot. Big pat save. Edlin with the puck. Now for the Kings to Vancouver territory. Cole takes the puck away. Now he will try to enter some more room, trying to go for some in the uh, attacking setup. Go again to Mikhaev. Mikhaev lost that puck as Spence will have it again to Byfield. Byfield making his way with a shot. And this one has bumped him across. Vancouver recovers the puck as Zadarov will now have it over on the other side. Trying to look for some battle range in between. And this one's knocked again by Talbot. He'll say with the puck that fight Sutter. Here's Spence. Under 7.30 left to go, but already past the midway mark of the period. And there's a big hit. I don't know if he's going to get back up there. It's going to be a little bit harder to get that one in change. It's never going to let this one happen here, but he's okay. And now here's Eklund with the puck. Over now, finding Kopitar. 
dumps it off into the Canuck zone. Moves it quickly over to Patterson. In the right offensive wing, and they go offside. Officials are getting set, ready for the face-off puck drop with under seven minutes left. And Los Angeles Kings wins the face-off. 6.40 left to go in the first period. Trying to give over to more shot. Bill chain is would stop again by Demko. Battling for the cross up along the board. Fiala gives it over, trying to find a shot. Demko makes a save. 6.23 left to go in the first period. Still nothing left here for the Kings to get that goal made. Another win puts in here for Vancouver Canucks, and now he finds Hughes of finding Pokoskin. Pokoskin with the puck in the range side, big save by Talbot, and a rebound will put in for Gavrikov. Over now to Moore. Moore makes his way across the out, finding Fiala. On a shot, big save by Demko. Not this is what you ever expecting, that Demko's merely making a bigger save. A lot of hard one is a challenging mate. You don't take it out well authentically. That's what they all do to try to get this one there done fast. Especially if they don't do really well. They gotta find a man-to-man a -man spin. That change is gonna be a little bit challenging to get break right from here. Game six and seven is not gonna take all the credit for them. They need to find a little bit more of a And now Pogoskin with the puck, trying to find an inside a center shot. And a big save puts in by Talbot. 5-10 to left go, and Anderson Dolan will have it. Opportunity. Big step hat save on the kicker for Demko. And Hughes has it again to Mikhaev and now finding Bozer. Bozer shoots, stopped in, and it goes up in an eddy. Alright, here's the one thing I gotta look for. That's because the top of he makes this one a, a beauty save. This one is keeping it in there with the blocker stuff. They're letting this one get in there, and this is not gonna let that happen. That's a really hard save he's going to put in there. But the chant calling, call, go, Kings, go. This one keeps it in there at the right timing, and that moment keeps on coming. And here's Stouty with the puck. Over on his down angle, now finding another rule. And Demko make the save. Oh, yeah, they can put it up here. That's Kings, turns it over. He's down, he scores. So the Cade side up with the goal 1 1. And now it gives Miller a shoots and save by Talbot. Miller. Over now the open look to Cole. Here's Miller. And this one's knocked out of here. Move around with the puck. Now finds Dowdy. Dowdy lost the puck and now Cole gives it again to Mikhaev. Mikhaev has it over. Trying to attempt a shot. Move has got it again. And now finds Anderson Dolan. Over now to LaFerrier. LaFerrier making its way in. Now Freeman will have a puck back. Went down. Anderson Dolan has a puck. 3.40 left to go in the first period. Close saved by Demko. 3.36 left to go in the first period. And it's still tied up. They're in the end of the first period. Now the Raiders get set here in the Canucks zone. And away we'll put it in for Pedersen and Julson trying to get it over. And now it puts back into the Canuck zone to the King zone. Pedersen looking around. That one blocked up in traffic, neutralizing the threat. Now finds Sutter. Overlook, Hollander! Oh, Talbot makes a save. That was excellent. You know what Talbot did? He made this one a lot of good contact. He tried to look over by Hollander, took a one on one, and he just showed up. That's where it takes things off. You just gotta make sure you have that one in there. And now you're doing it for more than one timing. And now here's Blueberry fighting again Dowdy. 
He went down, no tripping on a call or a slash for the Vancouver Canucks. And Zadarov spins around. This one's put in over by Byfield. And now he's over now to Takade. Takade takes a big hit. And your offense is putting it in as Zadarov has to have one in his own in the King's side. Looks forward to Patterson. Shot! Way off the market is off the glove by Talbot and Sutter to Patterson. Off and redirected right toward the wall. Here's Holland, they're not finding Zadarov. Into Patterson, backhander, stop baby near by Talbot. Drew Gowdy with the puck, now finding it over again to Z Again to Kopitar. And Kopitar fires it up, it's close saved by Demko. We are under two minutes remaining in the first period. Still a tie game in between. Gotta make sure they have it in there. They're never gonna let this one slow down if you gotta keep on fighting it. You have to believe on them. And Vancouver Canucks wins the faceoff, and now Goose will have it over. Rushing toward in the center, now finding Lindholm. Shot scores! First goal in the breakaway chain as Lindholm has his first goal after a pass by Elias Pedersen. Quinn Hughes, excuse me. Now this is what the cut in. When you see what Quinn Hughes is making, he made this one a great screen. He had that one to trip over someone. That is taking a great look. This offense really is putting a lot of pressure in there. That's a great assist here as they're putting up an extension to break the chain. They're really like they're doing really well. I've got a great feeling right at those two. And Quinn Goose has been doing an excellent job with his assist. Gotta make sure you have that one cleared out. Tachi Dubko will stop the buck here right now with all under 90 seconds. Now they're ready to do it in our face off. Two ones to score as they left off here after a goal by Vancouver. And of the win, here's Hughes. He's over it, trying to get back into the offensive zone to take the zone out. Roos got the puck. Anderson Dolan lost the puck, and now Goose will have it over. Ball's goal skin in the King zone. Leaves the puck zone. Anderson Dolan trying to get over it, now finding a little look over again to LaFerrier. Passing the minute mark in the first period. Still a lead off 2-1. Hughes now finds again to Pokoskin. Pokoskin with the puck. Toward away, battle for the puck chain. Los Angeles back in the offensive zone as Rue. 30 seconds left to remain in the first period. Tries to handle a cross. Veronic gives it over and now to Mikhail. He finds it again to Garland. Garland with the short scores. Off the goal, throws it in. Connor Garland, another goal takes in and now extends 3-1. Well, they're really expecting now Connor Garland to have that one to take off from the goalpost and deflect it in. Now you get the goalpost there, you could, you could see that target, but that was something that you did not see. They expected what they were looking for, and now you expect that this one is going to turn with the goal. That took a lot of time here. Well, that's why right now Connor Garland, he's been taking it over. Great shot. And for the way it gets it for Laferty, 10 seconds left to remain in the first period. And going for four. No. This one takes a stop by Talbot. And Bozer with the puck. Hughes shot, and it stays out. We reach the end of the first period. Three goals and one. Be right back with the second period after this. Hey y'all, welcome back to Crypto.com Arena as the Stanley Cup playoffs continues right here on EA Sports. And we're ready to get this thing set undergo for period number two. Now I have some different guys with the takes over here. Let's have your, your, your response for, for period one of the second of the sixth game of the series. They're really expecting them now. They're making this with a little bit of a hard contract. But they haven't really just played it all for ever since. I was really noticing what they were doing. But I never see what they were going to let him take the goals out of them. That error must have been putting up in for Tatra Demko earlier in this game. Well, not before then, 
The Canucks are breaking the tie series. They're up by two. They're making this one a little challenge on that point. Hopefully, have the Kings might come back down by one, and we'll find out if they have it. Now here's Quentin Byfield with the puck. Now he finds over in the right wing. Looks it over to Connie. Shot. Big on the rebound here. Took it out of here. This time it's eroded with the puck. Keep sort of board. Now find Highland there. Vancouver Canucks has their answer. Oh, he might be speeding for it. Denies a shot by Talbot. That's what they always expect to see. Let's get popping in there. Now with the puck, he's starting over here. Byfield not finding to get to Viala. Over for the shot, he scores! Clean Byfield! One-time effort! Brought down one, that I won. You expected what they just really did. Britton Byfield just made this one a great pass. But that is a close blank on the range. Passing Denko. Right through the slot. That was no way. How they done this, this was like unbelievable. And this one is happening. Yeah, you can see the crowd is preventing this one a little bit go farther. That's what you were always expecting that Quentin Byfield just made this one go. A lot of chances, they're making this one a lot challenging. On the harder he goes, they're getting this one a lot close to the game. That camping is not going to take easier enough to be at it. And there's an old shot pick saved by Demko. And now they will have that pressured up. 18, 12 to go in the second period. Now they're ready to do it our face off. And off they go. It was Dowdy. Gets pushed back. Bozer with the puck. Bozer trying to get over to Mikaya. And the rebound! Oh! How Beck just had the response! Took the effort right into the lane, and he just took it away. That's what nobody is expecting that Talbot was really flying in there. That's fast. It was incredible. Now the Kings will win the faceoff. He now finds Moore. Moore gives it again to Gabrikov. Gabrikov trying to make it his way in. Off the pass to Piala. Shoots, but saved by Temko. Mikhail with the puck now finding it the other way on the other side of his own. Trying to get back into it. Saved here by Talbot. And off to the pass. Oh, big time effort. Deflected off the skater. This one goes near the crease in. Off the crease in. Now toward the corner. And now Brew off again. Finding another room back to Fiala. Fiala will try to reset it up. Now find again to Brew. And Denault's got that puck. Denault slides across to Moore. Moore with the puck. Well, saved by Demko. This one goes right toward the corner on the other side of it in the Canucks zone. Took a tumble down as Miller tried to get that one reflected. Watching the other team do it again. And this one was knocked away. And Cole, there's Freeman shooting. And the Brown gives that puck back. Hollander shot. Trying to put an attempting rebound. But Talbot knocks that shot out. He's just really keeping an eyes on it for still. They never see what goes in there. That's unbelievable. And now for the win. Here's a chance now. This one is way off the mark. We were going to find again to Drew Dowdy. Dowdy tries to give off to Lafir. Lafiria with the puck. In the center, but to save it up here by Demko. Anderson Dolan try to have that one puck rebound. Anderson try to get that one back. When he gets in the game for the Canucks. Move our shot. Good catch by Demko. What a big save. This is really turning to be a little hard. That chance now is not going to pick it up for sure. Now I had a look here for Sutter. I don't know what was going on. He must have been like taking over. He's, in, he's out of here. He's trying to sit down, but he's just really making that one sure he's all get, like, warmed up. While he's right now in the medical room, well, we'll have an update for Arba later. And now for the win, here's Dowdy. He lost the puck right now, and here's Bozer with the puck. Bozer trying to make his way through. Plays up the puck. Now by rear net, as Moobrer will have it. 15-25, let's go as Kopitar will have it now into the right wing. And toward the center. Blocker stop made by Demko. 
and Sauerwalk with the puck now finding its way across again to Pedersen. Pedersen shoots one. This one's still not enough to get there as another save puts up by Talbot. Two times stop. Trying to battle up the loose puck. Pedersen shoots, big save here by Talbot. Drew Dowry now finding it over, looking an open pass. Tripati lost the puck and now he finds Zadorov and trying to get back into work to Bozer. And Bozer now finding Pokoskin. Pokoskin with the puck, shoots! Oh boy, that one's a little tip over range. And it's a little oopsie doodle there. That one stayed out. Oh, that pressure is nothing going to take. This is what they can't do. And they're just going to say it's a no goal. Mm, let's have a look. Now let's have a look over here. Oh, yep, he did. He just went in. He went in a crease right there in this point. And they're denying that shot. Remember, going to go to high signal in here. The fans are making a disagreement now as they are just pulled a silent crowd. No tie game. It's still a 3 2 game. And now Gabakov will have it again to Rue. That shot was tipped over and it's back again to Demko with the save. Leno now finding Garland and now gives the cues. And Ouse will have it over in the right wing. Fires the shot. Talbot makes the save. Fiala now finding Duno on the other again to Moore. Moore takes a spill and knocked him down. Leno tried to save the day. Now he will have it over to Peronic. Ronick trying to make his way in towards the center. Fiala happens again to Moore. Takes a big smackdown on the Kings. Luger trying to have that one in the wing. This one stopped by Luke by Tobin. And now, on his way down, trying to have an open offensive look. In the effort, trying to pull a stop. With a shot, big save by Demko. Under 13 minutes remaining in the second period. Still trying to find luck for the tie game. For the Canucks. They were expecting it was going to happen now. This is what they don't really see this one at the mic run. Now, Tatra Demko has a tight work of his ability. It's better off to have this light work ability to have this one in. He's trying to find his way if he has another great offensive skill and that deflection may come in. I'll find out if Talbot has this one. And there's a lot of superstar factor players that can't be on the list of a line, but that might be a hard one to take. I'll find out if those two goaltenders might find in with the starting group in game six and find out if there's another ability for Talbot to get right in. Back to you. And Gabakov will have it over now finding Dubois. Here's a look on the effort to Rue. Off to LaFurier in a shot. Oh, this one stayed out. Cool finding again to Hoglander. Hoglander makes his way around with a shot wide. And the battle rebounded for Bozer puts it back in as Hoglander takes a shot. Big save by Talbot. You know, this is what they don't really expect to say now. I mean, he's really making this one a lot of contact earlier. But don't let that one keep out of it if he had more room to put it in. Now the shot will be stopped here, and it's now it's still 3-2 game, Vancouver. And here's Moobrayer with the puck, and now he finds again to Dowdy, again to Kopitar. Kopitar turned the right wing, take a hit. Now finds Freeman over into the wing. Back to Cole. Cole firing around now again to Bozer. Bozer to take a screenshot. That stop made by Talbot. And big stop. Two time in the effort by Talbot with only 11 17 to go. This is what they can't let that happen. That's Talbot with his better move as his performance effort. Still a lot of time in this period. 3-2, still the score. Vancouver up by front. After a win, here's Dowdy. Off to Takati. Past 11 minute mark, he finds again to Quentin Byfield. Over to Kopitar! Put a rebound in there! That's why he's right below the corner of the wall. Bozer battle along with the puck and not finding Freeman. Bozer trying to get it over into the other side of his own, and the offense is trying to pick it up. Battle for the loose puck of the chain as Kopitar will have it again to Turcate. And now finds Moubrer. Give to Dowdy. Big save on the pad by Demko. And this one will fire it out. 
and now back to Dowdy. To Kade. Back again to Mubrayer. And he will lift it up in his own, trying to look for some open offense. He finds Cole. Cole give it over again, trying to give it over. Back to Garland. And he lost that puck. And Kayev with the puck now finding the airway. Past the midway mark of the period, he finds Dowdy. Dowdy now finds Lynn. And he will fire this puck out into the, in the Canucks zone. Quinn Hughes will have to make his way through back again to Lindholm. Now finds over again to Hironic. Hironic will try to figure this one in. Loses the puck chain. And this one smashes out. We're getting a little bit of battle collision here. And now for Kroposkin and Hironic. Lissette's got the puck now finding again to Kaliev. Kaliev moving around. Big save by Demko. It's just really putting it in there. I mean, this is a lot of attackers here making this with a lot of chase, but they don't let that be out there in their own life. And with the save, puts it in bounds. Now the Vancouver Canucks will have their chance as Garland will have the puck. And with the shot, big save here by Talbot. Now they're off to do this one again, ready for another face-off of under nine minutes. Off this is the game set, ready for the face-off. Still a 3-2 game. Now with the win, huge shot. Oh, Tom Bet! Just did not have the release here. They're going to make this one a lot harder on the challenging is putting in. What a great stop. And now they're ready for another face-off here. Still a 3-2 game. And the way we play it up here for the Vancouver Canucks. Here's Pukoskin. Dipped it up in the air and it's Gavrikov with the puck. And Gavrikov now finding Roy. Rue with the puck. Now finds it over. Pukoskin with the puck inbound. And here's a chance now. With the shot, big save and the inbounds by Tomic. Boronic fires it. Way wide. Oh, this one's not going to let go well. He has to fire. he got to make sure he gets a connection in there. Maybe he can't leave that one open mark. We've got to fix it up here. Lafiri with the puck. Fires that puck out of here. Connect zone. As Coos will have that puck over under eight minutes to go. Then Fiala back to Denal. Fires a shot. It's blocked up. Lafiri gets to get the Freeman. Freeman trying to give over to Pokoski. Pokoski with the puck. A towards Bluger. It's saved by Talbot. 7.22 left to remain in the second period. As right now, I have an update here for Sutter as Sestu sitting by. All right, thank you guys. I was really talking to one of the medical response for the Canucks. They were expecting that Sutter was making that one a little bit hard on this one because that shin puts it in there and it went into the broken of the bone in the back. This one's happened and he is suspended already. This is what they don't really expect to see Sutter return anytime soon. Because of his point, he really had that one with the broken on the boat and it happened with the pad that must have been in for the puck and that could be in between by the players or it could have been in for the puck in between. We have no idea why, how that happened. But this may have been an update here if the Canucks try to battle it across without Sutter. I'll try to find out if Sutter will be able to play for the next round if their team wins or in the seventh game. Back to you. And the shot blocked up. Here's Stoudy with the puck of 100. 6-3 left to go in the second period. He gives over to Takate. And Quinn Byfield with the shot. Club saved by Demko. What a big effort here as Demko's going to light the whole things up with 6-13 to go. If you're ready to find another game with you, We've got your NBA in as we have the first game. The Knicks battling against the Magic at the Kia Center. Following along with the next game as we have the Dallas Mavericks facing at Los Angeles back here in Crypto.com Arena for the second game. Then the third game for tonight as we have the Pacers battling against the Cavaliers at Rocket Border Shieldhouse. And finally, we do have one, and this one will be taken for the Timberwolves against the Suns at Target Center. That will be all games only on Sundays. Oh man. I just see what Talbot just made this with a great look at the city. This is not what it calls for easy look. 
This offense is putting in there with the catch. That's putting in there. Great look. We're nearing down the five minute mark. 3 2 still the score for Vancouver. And now he's the win. And Scavacoff will have it over now, finding it again to Byfield. Towards the right way now, finding Byfield. Cool, cool back to Patterson on the other side of the chain. Looks for room. Pulls a shot, scores! What a rocket through! He had this one in early range. That's what Mel Bowser does. He made a wild attempt, and he just put a cannon to beat the goaltender. As you know, Brock Bowser, he just had that one fired across him. That one's putting a block in it. And this is what he could have done. Made that one, stops, and then slap it in. That is excellent. The Canucks are extend their lead. They're back up by two. It's with 5.24 left to go in the second period. And now Gavrikov with the puck now finds again the Pedersen. Now back again to Bozer. Bozer shoots, and big save by Talbot. Rue again to Ducati with five minutes left to remain in the second period. Up in his own. Quinn Goose has got the puck. Under five minutes left to remain in the second period. And he got a little bubble, whipped it again. Five field shot. The puck off the skater and now Brian Hughes. Battle for the ticket to rebound. Veronic now finding an open end. Looks back to Goose. Goose makes his way forward, now finding an open look to the Goopsy. The Goopsy, okay, again the McCurdy and Hughes takes a shot. Oh, Talbot, unbelievable. And the moment is putting it in, back again. Oh, that's when I know that Talbot just had that safe early range. Quinn Goose was almost going to take the attempt at goal, but Talbot denies a shot. Nope, you don't want that. That is putting a great look. Still a lot of time up in this period. Vancouver up by two with 4.19 to go. And as they put up another win, here's Wu. And they're fouling along the puck, trying to get it out of here. Dubois with the puck, fine again to Anderson Dolan. Takes a big hit, slams down as the puck went wide. And Hughes will have it over again to the good seat. Okay, the good CP and now over into the center. Shoots it, save off by Tommy. Root, battle along the board. Gets a buck back. Dugutsi denies it. A birdie! Big save in a chain. And now they're up for the challenge, ready to take another face off in, back to Juleson, and deep pass to Lindholm. Lindholm fire fighting across again to Laferty. Laferty shoots, big save in the play. Lindholm. Over in the range side. In for the birdie! Oh, Tobin had a save on this one, and that was stayed out of the zone. That's what no one does. They couldn't let this one grab it in there. They are just letting that one beat. But Goldskin with the bucket, now he's trying to get it over with the over offense, and now trying to get into the center. Tries to make his way across the little hole. His Garfield shot, and that denies a shot for Talbot. Nearing a two-minute mark in the second period, almost done with the second one before the third. Still a 4-2 game. Now they're ready to grab a critical draw between the two of Vancouver or L.A. Mover has got it again, back to Dowdy. Fiala's got the puck. L.A. on a transition. jilson has got that puck. The Canucks are back in the offense and now finding Garland in the Kingston. On their site, blocked it up, and he went off again on Anderson Dolan. Try to guard the puck bound, and Garland tries to get into the middle. This one's knocked out. It's saved by Tobin with under two minutes left to remain. You see what they're expecting now, because this is what Tobin is really putting it in. That save needs to be at the right timing. You don't want to leave that one open if you have it right. Los Angeles wins the faceoff and now Downey will clear it out back again to move right. Move right right towards the right wing. Shoots it up! Oh, hit the goal post! And he stays out of the zone! Oh, what a chance here for Mr. Tatcha Demko. I just really like it. I just really enjoyed it. And when you always get to say that firing puck and bound is not really like a, a forceful way to do this, but that is what they always expected. Like. 
That turned to be like a little, almost turned to be a goal for the Los Angeles Kings, but now they still have it back. Still a lot of time left in this period as we're nearing down the one minute mark. 4 2 still the score as now Los Angeles wins the face off. And Dowdy will have that puck back to Kopitar. Kopitar lost the puck. He closes her shot. Big save on the inbound by Talbot. Closer with the puck. One minute to go in the second period as Talbot makes a save. And he will hold that fucking play, play under one minute. Now the officials are ready to take the face off in the King's territory. And now the win will put it from Ubrair. Takate give again to Drew Dowdy. 50 seconds left in the second period, trying to left it over. And the offense now finding Byfield shot. Big save with a chain. Patterson now finding in. Finds a look over again to Hollander. A 2 on 1 opportunity range. And this one's can't get back into the racing zone. The inbounds pressures on. And Bozer shot. Pat saved there. And Dowdy tries to get it back. Dowdy now finding Dracati, but the puck with only 10 seconds in remaining in the second. Puck is out. Bozowski again to Hughes. Down finds Lindholm. Lindholm to shoot, and that will stop by Talbot. 2.3 seconds left in the second period before the second period comes to expire. Another win for Vancouver, and this will be a tripping call. Oh boy, I just do not like what Takata just realized. If that turned to be like, how comes is it on me? And he's a little desperate right now. Unbelievable. That's right now the power play will start in for the third period for Vancouver Canucks. And this will be a uh, time once they get their eyes cleaned up and get ready for the third period. 4-2 to score. Vancouver up by two. This will be their chance if they win this game. Or will the Kings tie it up and make the comeback response? Be back after this. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Hi everyone, it's Witt Spurney. If you're in Los Angeles at the town and you've got tickets here, you'll be seeing this one here at the Sabian Media Center as this currently had happened before in last year's a part of a year. Here for the BFDI and the Anime Sunday experience for the first part of a show on June before July in New York City. This further part of it is now going to be back in the West Coast as they are now hosting the BFDI and Anime Sunday tour if you have tickets here. Then this one VIP tickets are also uh, made there when you, if you get your chance to meet and greet with the creators that you love right in between of Adam Gotts and Jackie Jillaby of Michael and Carrie Hong. They are one of the professionals that they already have made, thanks to one of the animators, the storyboarders, and of course, the editors as well. But this is where they take things on and ready for recreation. First, it will be the new episode of the Animated Saturday Invitational of season number two, and it's Bach. Then, the second half brings you in to start off for the BFDI I, episode 12 on the other side. If you're ready to see the new episode, I'm ready to see what they've got and how will they do in between. But this is what they all expected to see. You all enjoy this and this will be your time in Los Angeles T. If you're in the county of the state from California, you're gonna love in between those two and you don't wanna miss that one out with your favorite cast and creators, especially with the actors who have played in part of the contestants. So that's what they all started for. You can also be in selection and you can definitely try to find out what will they do if they can get back in there for next part of the Animate Sandy and the BFDIA for a new season to get back in for the year. And yes, that is true. Because right now the new season will be the NHL 25 and NBI 2K25 for season 9 and season 4 for the votings that will be opening here on July 17th and July 18th right here in the middle of the day of the month of July 2024. 
So that will be open for, for all for anybody, for, you, for those of you on social media who already have subscribed and followed him on his social media, like on Instagram or Ox or TikTok. Might be one of them in between and you might have to choose for. And finally, we've got the last part of the games on the other side. You'll stick around for it soon as we have the Jets at home facing against the Avalanche for the first part of the game. And then the second part of the game at 10.30, we have Mr. Knights facing against the other team at 9.30 p.m. Excuse me. We're going to do it this way. As the Golden Knights will face it against the Everton Oilers. The winner go home between those two of the teams. And we'll find out who will they win to get right into the second round. The fight against the secondary team in between the Dallas Stars or this team. If Vancouver wins this guy. Now, let's get you back in. To Crypto.com Arena to finish the game in Game 6. Guys, all yours. Wood Spoonie, out. Peace. We are all kings, ready to start the third period. As the shorthand continues for the Los Angeles Kings, here comes the Canucks as they will be starting things off in the third period. Alright, I have a little bit of a take in between. Let's have your little takes. For the Canucks and the Kings, guys. Well, they're really expecting it now. Vancouver Canucks are really are trying to fight for it. This is what they always do. Keep on scoring. Keep on attacking. They really are trying to make this one a lot harder. And this is the challenging to take, and nobody likes this call. Oh, boy. We do have a boring call. And I think that Brock, Brock Gozer just made that one slammed out. That will be the end for the power play for the Canucks. Yeah, I guess that must have happened now. Watch what he did. Boom! That's when he took it over and that hits the wall. Not so good at all. Now it's a 4-on-4 four -four battle in between the Canucks and the Kings with 19.30 to start. And Giugatti to now have it again. Trying to pass the Kopitar shot. Big for the save! On the inbound by Demko. And Miller will have to fire that one out. Trap along the board and uh-oh, this is not turning great for the Canucks. As the interference is calling JT Miller. Now this time, Tatu Demko will have some more right here as Tatu stands by. Tatu Demko may have a little bit of a problem right this moment. He'll try to find out if he can get a power play in there or deny that shot. But he'll play the light work will take it all over him right now. Let's find out if he does more. And then scores! And Up the net, brings the team, and they're now back down by one. Now that's the answer you all called for. That's the look you're not making this one in now. Successfully blinded at goaltender. And that one was right at the defender, right in front of him. He just hit the back end, and it worked. Well, this is what he does now. Kevin Fiala was making a little break pass off the field to Knox. With that one, after a power play, they made this one a great look. This offense is keeping it a lot harder, and this one, hopefully this will be a tie to get back in the range. Hopefully this one might be coming in there if we get more done right away. I'll find out if the never goal pops in for the Kings of Los Angeles. Back to you. This play goes with the buck with only 18.30 to go in the third period. Now finding Patterson, glove save by Talbot. Patterson takes the puck away, and this one's up in that over and right by the side of the net as Whitefield gives it again to Downey. Downey with the shot, and the save puts in by a tip go. Verona losing that puck, and it's stuck. Now the Kings will have a power play as the man advantage for the 4-on-4 four four is over. Now the Kings will have their chance here to have a tie game. Byfield lost that puck and now he finds Kopitar. Go for the tie! That poked up the chain here and now it's hot Hughes with the puck. Clears the puck out of here in the Kings zone. Drew Dowdy's got that puck. Now finally to get a quick Byfield at the diagonal again to Lafayette. Laferia, oh, he just made a big hit. Snapped it over, and it's saved by Demko. Looks like he's ready to get back out there. 
And that's it. The power play is over. Only a power play goal with a 5-on-3 advantage. 4-on-3 advantage, excuse me. As they have now with the 4 free game. Trying to look for a tie game in between. Well, they were really like pushing it in there now. And they were really trying to look it off. This is not how hard it is. I mean, but they really are making this one a lot of chance. They're putting it in there, a lot of pressure and take. Kupitar is really answering it. He just made his team try to handle up. He said, Canucks are not really my favorite. I really can't stand them and what they will do. But this is what they know how to believe on. Whatever we do it, we could do it right away. Oh, no penalty call here, and this one stopped by Talbot with 16 17 to go in the third period. Teams are set, ready for the faceoff. And the other two games will be happening here for the Western Conferences only. As we have that next one game underway, and we've got yours covered. As we have the Avalanche facing against the Jets at the Canada's Life Century. Now the first game will happen here at 6.30 p.m. Then following along with the next game, as we have the number part, as the next game on the other side, we'll put in for a number on the inbound. As we got one here on the other side, and it's ready for you to take it on the other way. As that part of the next game, we have across Golden Knights against the Oilers back at T-Mobile Arena. That will be at 9.30 p.m. In, in for the uh, sixth game for the second game of the night. And for the other side of it right now, then later we will have game seven for the Rangers facing against the other team of the, the Bulls. The chance, oh, that breaks up the chain is another god save by Tommy. Uh, so once again, so that will be two games on its way after the NBA. And then, after that one, will be the seventh game of the Bolts of Lightning against the New York Rangers back at the Garden. The do or don't for, for one of each team's win to move on to the second round. Vancouver wins the faceoff, and now Cole will have it again to Green Bay. Fifteen minutes remaining in the third period will now find its way down into the center. Goes for a shot, big save by Talbot. Stopped the clean in the clock with only 14.57 left to remain. This time, it's another faceoff, ready to put it up in. Four threes to score. And now for the win. Fires and blocks, shot made on the blocker by Talbot. And uh, we're in the end here again as Moobra will have that puck. 14.40 left to go as Moobra with the shot. Stop with the pad by your bite them kill. Off to the other side. Vancouver Canucks are trying to make his way through. Oh, your shoots. Off the defensive stepper. And inside, Talbot makes a save. Great chance effort, but this one won't cut in the digit to have it in. And the wing will put it in for the Los Angeles Kings. Drew Dowdy with the puck trying to look his way across. Now he has it over to get to Kevin Fiala with the puck. On his way down, Veronix got that puck away and now he will try to figure it over. Now finding a good grip save. He grips the P, now finding him with the shot and this was off the hook. And Kopitar now finding Drew Dowdy. Byfield with the puck. One on one chance opportunity range now finds Fiala. Fiala shoots, saved by Demko. And Bluebird with the puck. Towards the right wing, entering zone, takes it over. As Kopitar now finding again Dracati. Dracati off to Rubre. Rubre against the Kopitar. Kopitar now finds Dracati. Shot off again by Demko. Byfield now finding Kopitar, Pat safe. Rebound again! Oh, Demko! Finalized at that point, the full pressure is coming on. Now they're ready for the face-off. Another one will put in if they get a tie game. But right now, the Canucks wins the face-off as the Hughes will have it over any other side. Takes a hit. LaFerrier with the puck now finds Drew Dowdy. Throw it away. Finds a chance with the shot. 
Not enough to beat there. Elias Lindholm, now Lindholm will have the puck. Coming in, no penalty call for Los Angeles. Now Daddy now finding it again to Anderson Dolan. Dolan, on his way across, both saved by Demko. We'll stop the player with only 12-15 left to go in the third. We talked about this head coach by now for the Vancouver Canucks as Rick Torchett is taking a fishery in both seasons. So what's he up to? Ron Watson was our referee, and this was a super a superior, and he and he was excellent. That's what the Canucks head coach is being. He's been really doing really well. And you know this won't be all it takes if you can definitely try to like keep it off. Rick is really trying to let this team put it in back and back. They're really making this one a lot harder on the challenging difficulty range. They're making this one a little bit like a hard one that they really need to do. They don't have that chance, but they're finding their way if they can have that one back. Boy, oh, he went down! And his shot stop made! Oh, here's a chance! Demko makes a stop! 11.29 left to go in the third period. Unbelievable moment. That's what they just realizing. When Demko's going to make it a save, that's going to be a, like a pressure reaction. That's going to be in there. Must have found another way if he can just have that one stop again. Fans still throwing wild in Crypto.com Arena. 4 3 is the score. 11.29 left to remain in third. And now the win for Los Angeles. And the pass stopped made here by Dunko. More finds Gavrikov. Woo! Over now to Fiala. Gavrikov shoots. A high in the net. And now that off back to Moore. Dunalt's got it now. Woo shot. Hit off the pad again by Dunko. Now he fires the puck out of here. Gavrikov fouling for the loose puck. Dunelts has it now. Trying to make its way across. Woo. And it's back again to Juleson. Juleson lost that puck and now Kopitar will have it again to Fiala. Fiala trying to battle it in as he battles for the loose puck. Keeps the puck out of the zone. Gavikov making his way across right now. Trying to find a bit of room back again to Kopitar. And now he finds Spence. Spence towards the middle. It's rejected off and it's too many bodies in a way. Zadorov now has it again to Lindholm. Past the midway mark of the period. He went down. As Kopitar will have it over any other side of the range. Now Kopitar trying to find an answer room. With a shot. This one's been knocked in with a number hit. Zadorov with a big bang. Byfield now finds Spence. Carrying the puck along the board as he will have to make a loose out of it. And Juleson will have it over again to Garland. Under 9.30 left to go in the third period. Here's Garland. For another shot. Saved by Talbot. Spence with the puck. Now finds it again to Takate. He takes a spill. Kopitar with the puck. And this one's another save. Off by Demko. Here's Spence. Eglin. Lost the puck. Mikhaev trying to hold it back down. On the other side, trying to hit it in. Big K on the play. Spence trying to make his way across. Now finding it again to Takate. Over now to Kopitar. Big kick here. Who's has that puck? And this one races out of him. Mikaya trying to hit that out of here. Tries to get the pushover defender. Miller on a shot. Put it in bound. Nearing the goaltender as Talbot holds on. 18 left to go in the third period, looking for another take to have it in. Now, I was expecting what happens. You know, Anze Kopitar was really better to have a slow and professional ice hockey of a Kevin's goal. But the captain really made this all a time effort. And he stepped and made his way with an 11th pick in the 2005 draft pick. And this first big game became a slogan to play in the NHL. Upon us making his way to 2006, Yes, it's been an entire NHL career season. This was all about the Kings has done. You played for all of the two seasons in the fourth in the franchise history by scoring a thousand 
points of his career, that would happen in 2021. This was really what following along with the 2015 to 16 season. Also, Kings captain took out that one year, and a fun set of defensive play, and definitely he was awarded for Frank J. Stokely Trophy. He's really like into a great timing. You know, I was really like seeing it before. It might be what you all say for Anze Kopitar. He's really like a professional player for the Kings. Really making this one a lot harder with the challenge. He, he wants to have another chance if he has to go for a fight. And he's not about quitting. He has to make another room to go with his next uh, next career goal. If he can get to 2,000. Here's the note. Over with the tight game and the bad timing. Stop the puck here with only 6.56 left to go in the third period. Now your team's all settled in. Still a 4-3 game. Close game in between. And the way we put it in has now Freeman will have it. Fouls along the board. Hoblin they're trying to make it away across now into the right wing. 6.40 left to go. To shoot one, big save here by Talbot. Pull down finds Hoglander. And off to Freeman shoots. On a big bounce scores! Hoglander! Put it back up by two, and this one puts another goal for the Canucks. This is where Hoglander is making his way through. After what happened to another chance, this is where Hoglander is making it in there. You know, that's a fire inbounding. That takes it over by Talbot. You've got a great look. But that, he had more room to get a goal. That took it over right in time. And now Denault will win the faceoff as Downey will have it over on the other side of his own. And he puts a stop right now as Cole will have it over. Cole will fire some puck around the net. The Kings have their puck as Drew Downey has to get to Denault. In center ice, trying to pick up. Miala back to Dowdy. Off to Moore. Moore finds Denal. Denal to the right wing, and a stop being here by Demko. Pokes it out. Moore finds Dowdy. Try to battle it off, and here comes Bluger. The one-on-one -on -one head on head to collision. Cold shot. Big save by Talbot. Bluger with the shot. Hit the goal post on the outside. Bluger on the shot. Big save here by Talbot. That stays out of the zone. This is really like what they expected. That's nothing happening. But they never seem to care about it. If that goal puts it in. Big pass save and Demko pulls a stop. Under five minutes left to remain in the third period. He's trying to get another attempt to get the save in. And with a win, I'll send it over to Tetsu on the other side. Elias Pettersson's doing really well with his offense, guys. He's been playing it on his better performance effort in game one without Sutter. And hopefully on that occasion, he's ready to bring their team to the second round. And the shot, big save by Tobin. Rolling back over to get to the field and now finding Gaprikov. He now finds it to Gade. And off again, back to Roy. Roy lost the puck. Cole will have it again to Popolski. Paco skate with the puck. Throw it away. Loses the puck as Wu will have it. 4 10 to go in the third period. Off to Kopitar. Misses it. Lindholm's got that puck. Off on a sidetrack. This one is whipped it up and it's now a bad another save by Tobin. And Dunault's got it now. Across. Hollander takes the puck back to Hollerman. Hollerman back to Bozer. Look for his way across. Shoots it and Saint puts it in here. As the Kings are putting another one of these offense and Fiala will have back. Off with the shot. Close save by Dimko. 3.24 left to go in the third period. Trying to make another answer play in this in the center of this guard positions. Trying to look for an open room. And now the win will put up. Bruce shots blocked. Hughes has it now. Hughes right toward the right wing. Up in the middle. 
Off the Pedersen shot. Big save on the play by Tobit. We just made it down to a final three minute mark in the third period. As right now, as Coos will have it over, now have a swing off again to Patterson. Last group remaining on the line change as Patterson will have it. Lost the puck as now as the Nub will have it again to Gavikov. And now he will fire it across again to Fiala. 235 left to go. Bumps up the collision in the blue line. The Canucks bring Skews into the zone. Cutting from the angle, here's Bozer. And Rue has it again, back to Tercade. Tercade gets slammed down. Miller trying to make his way across, back to Hughes. Hughes right to the right. Goes down. And Downey will have it. Off again to Byfield. Byfield can't hold on. Tercade right into the wing. Toward the slot. Finds Byfield. Oh, catch save by Demko. What an excellent performance there, as Stemko takes another save. You can nearly say the crowd loves Stemko. Maybe this one is not easy. That's all you can definitely take. And now Freeman will have it. Freeman off to Mikheyev. Jordan right wing. Kovatar with the bad puck seat pass. And here's Blyfield. Blyfield right to the right. Miller with the puck now in, in the entering zone, finding Mikhaev. Takes that puck. Now Mikhaev will have that swinging across, now finding Patterson. Patterson off to Freeman, blocked the shot. Just one minute left to remain in the third period. Patterson and Drew Downey tries to have it back. Move rare, battling for the puck range. Inside finds Shouty. Here comes Fiala. And the extra matter is skaters on. Freeman trying to give over. Hollander is going to take it deep. Fired around the net. Here's Wu. Again to Kopitar. Kopitar will fire this puck out. 20 seconds left in the third period. And Bozer going to take it. Win it. And scores. Bozer wins their team. When this one will end off the Kings in the ending season against the Canadian team. Yep, this is what you say. Bozer just fired that puck really well. And that's what happens now. So long, Canadian Kings. This is what happens now because the Kings already made their way to the second round last postseason. But this time, it's no way that they won't let this one come back in. And now at this point, as the Gipsy, as Freeman will have it again to pull those skin. And this will catch another save by Talbot. One last face-off between the Canucks and the Kings. Last chance here in game six. And a win for the Canucks. Cole, Freeman. And this one's knocked out, and that's going to do it. Vancouver Canucks beats the series over the Los Angeles Kings with an amazing score by Thatcher Demko. Well, they're really expecting it now. And that's what happens. The Los Angeles Kings is eliminated. Hope we'll see them back again. But thank you, fans. We appreciate the support. And that's what they all meant to be. Demko with a big stop. And that's going to wrap it up, folks. Tyler beats along with Paul Quaypen and Boomer. This has been a presentation of the NHL playoffs of the Stanley Cup. Stay tuned for more. We will have more games underway. Have a great night in Los Angeles. We'll see you again next time. All right. Thank you so much. Time for three star players of the game. Mark Friedman answers the third star. And then Tatu Demko with 63 saves. With a one goal, two assists, and three hits. And then a save points to the amount. And finally, the first star is Cam Talbot. He finishes off with 88 saves in this game. Really been necking it out a little bit. Taking it all time in. Let's have they see how they do with the total statistics. 94 over 66 for the Vancouver total shots on goal. And it was 74 over 59 for Los Angeles Kings. Van 631 time on attack for Vancouver over Los Angeles Kings. 891 percentage of his passing. Over Vancouver, 89, and it was 38 face-off wins over 31 for Vancouver. Then 
Four minute penalty kill was put in for Vancouver over two minute penalty kill for Los Angeles Kings. And this one was their power play goal to be successful before the four on four advantage with 58 seconds on the clock. They expected to see this one here, but glad to have Vancouver Canucks there entering the second round for the first time ever in the franchise history of the postseason of the NHL on EA Sports. We'll see how they well they do, and as now they'll be waiting for the next opponent team in between the Golden Knights or the Edmonton Oilers. That'll be the tonight's, uh, tomorrow night's game, as we will be seeing this when they're underway soon for the next two games. And as of right now, I hope you all enjoyed this. If you wanted to see the last postseason or two seasons ago, check out the playlist here on the calling card up there. That will take you right in it to go to checking out, checking out the postseasons for season one and two. But this season three is right on the list, so you can watch it in between anytime. In the meantime, that's gonna be it. I hope everybody's enjoying your day, and we'll see you all again soon for the next game. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports Style. This is me, Phone, and Son of Peace, signing out. Good night, everybody. From Los Angeles and Vancouver, until tomorrow night's game. See ya! If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.